Uh, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a holiday or a Christmas purist. Like for me, you gotta sell. Thanksgiving gets overlooked, I think, anymore when like Christmas trees are up in the stores by what September these days, and so Thanksgiving gets missed over. But December first, it's great um, great to have you in here. This is a little preview we're getting uh, for your show, which are you've got a th series of three shows starting what next week. Yeah, we've got four concerts that start on Thursday, December 8th, an evening show, a Friday evening show, and then two on Saturday, oh, a matinee. There you go. So four shows next week at the First Congregational Church, that's correct? Yes, around the corner. Yeah, and if you, if you want more details on this, we've got the link right on the front page of kink.fm. Uh, you can go check it out. But thank you guys so much uh, for being in here today and giving us this little preview. Um, what we're fortunate enough uh, here in Portland is that that you're a local. You're a transplant like many of us, but you're a local, and we get to have you year-round oftentimes. And uh, this, uh, your holiday series is, is a regular thing, yeah? This is our 16th year doing this series. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we love doing it, and we have uh, wonderful sponsors, and one of them is, is uh, Kink, and, and we like partnering with Kink. You guys have been involved for, for several of those 16 years. Yeah. We're thankful for that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't see you guys clapping at me. No, I'm just, I'm just Yay, it's all right. kink. It's, it's, it's all right. So um, I, I've got this question, because uh, if you go to your website, rock violinist, and that's something I think people often overlook, but for so long that, that rock mu music has been around, if you go start looking at it, the uh, stringed instrument, the violin specifically, has been, been, been there almost from the get-go, but is often overlooked as a key part of that sound. Do you feel that as, as the guy who's providing a lot of that? Well, you haven't seen me smash my violin, and usually I do that on the flute player's head. Yeah, that are, really are we gonna get, makes are, it rock. But um, no, you're exactly right. And um, you know, the violin is traditionally a classical instrument, or a blue bluegrass instrument, or country. Yeah. And it's been really fun to incorporate it in lots of different styles of of music. And I bill myself as a concert rock violinist and I'm still trying to figure out what that is but at, at what point though because I, I grew up I remember when I was it, this is in the 80s and there was a big country influence in my house at one point and Alabama had a song out about you, know, you, you can't play in Texas I can't remember what the exact you can't play in Texas if you don't have a fiddle in the band at what point does a violin become a fiddle Aaron answer that question for me I'm dying to know it's the same instrument. It's just a, a style of music. But, okay. You know, for me, it's when I play The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Okay. Yeah. So that su suddenly you go from violinist to fiddle player. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I try. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we've, ar we've already seen, we, even, even what you've given us uh, today has been, it's, it's just been a, a variety of styles in there. Well, I hope you like it because it's the only song we know. <laughs> so are you gonna just, you're just going to play that one three more times? We do the, the fiddle version next. Yes! And, then, would... and then the reggae version. What else do we got, JP? Well, there's a, a special mime version. Special mime version, all right. I think I can help participate in that. Well, we're excited for you to be in here today. Uh, your entire crew here, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, four shows next week, starting Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Again, go to kink.fm. You can find out all about it, but we'd love to hear more from you now. Even if it's the same song, we'll take it.